this mouse is absolutely incredible. Once again, it is time to go on the quest of a lifetime. Today, I'm going to search for the ultimate endgame mouse. I'm not so fussed about the big number prices like $160, $100, $80, $50, $30. The only number I care about is what costs $15 or less. And that's what I'm here for. I've searched high and low through the shelves of Amazon to try and find the best gaming mouse that's also cheap. But there is a rule. If it doesn't say it's a gaming mouse, it doesn't qualify. Today's contender is Wired Mouse RGB IN80 Professional Gaming Mouse. It's got macros for games, optical sensor, 7 RGB lighting mode, honeycomb design, born for eSport. So this isn't just a gaming mouse, this is a gaming mouse that has been born to play eSports. I feel like this ticks a number of boxes, but I won't find out sitting here looking at the Amazon page. I need to purchase this thing. And there it is. Right, first of all, I think this is one of the cheapest that I have found. It's around about six to nine dollars at the time of this review, if you're ever wanting to buy it. So you don't have to put that in there. Wow, what a treat. I've got a box within a box. Oh, wow. Oh, isn't that cute? I'm very surprised about this. Isn't this lovely? It's got like a little comic book. How nice. So on the back, let's have a look. It supports up to 10,000 DPI. It's 130 millimeters by 65 millimeters by 40 millimeters. Weighs 68 grams. So this is going to be a lightweight mouse. I'm a bit more excited. Wait for the mouse to automatically install the program. I really, really hope that this isn't going to give me more wear. And this is it. Right, first of all, this is a lightweight cable i am this is this is already shocking this this is already blowing me away you know this mouse said it was for esports now at the moment it has passed one of the esports tests so i don't think anybody would use a non-paracorded cable secondly i mean the mouse feet do leave a little bit more to be desired i will admit they're, they're a bit small there's a button there that is not labeled so that's uh, interesting these are some uh, incredibly bizarre side buttons. I do not know what's going on here. The scroll wheel kind of makes it look like it's metal, but it's not. This mouse is comfortable. This is actually comfortable to hold. The switches are actually pretty decent. They respond well. There's like, there's no mushiness to them. There's no pre or post travel to them at all. The scroll wheel was very naff, so it's not that brilliant. The click is very good though. The DPI button requires a ridiculous amount of force to like actually trigger. So far, this has led me to believe that this is a usable mouse. There, but there is a downside and that is the mouse feet. The mouse feet, hold on, is there unlocked? The mouse feet did have some protective film on it. I have got to plug it in and we'll see, we'll see how it gets on. And there's something that I really want to try out. This mouse is 500 hertz. I thought something was weird. It doesn't even say anything about it being 500 hertz anywhere, like at all. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna play an actual game with this because this is, this is mind blowing. I am actually ridiculously impressed right now. For this to be 500 hertz is absolutely ridiculous. This is really good. But you know, enough of this. Let me let me let me play a game. I cannot make this mouse. I mean, I can't make it spin out, and it's not. The good thing as well is with this this cable being like braided, it's it is not in the way. It is not causing like any issues or anything like that. The thing is that when I normally get one of these and I flap my hand around trying to make the mouse spin out, you know, there's normally just like a big rattle. I kind of want to go and do battle as quick as I can.
Okay, so I've used this mouse for about 24 hours. I've used it in Apex, obviously, as you've seen, some sick gamer footage. I've been using it in Dota as well quite a lot, so it's received quite a bit of um, a thorough going over, more than what I would normally give a five pound mouse. And honestly, this mouse is absolutely incredible. When I take into account the price, it is phenomenal. It really is. It's, it's actually amazing. I've never been so impressed in sort of like by by a mouse before you know the the price of it being like what about eight dollars i mean i would price this at around about 20 to 25 so the fact that this only costs about that much is incredible the weight of it is around about 67 grams so it's lightweight you have a braided cable that's pretty decent and it's pointed up at the the housing at the front so it doesn't scrape straight away it's i haven't used a bungee with this at all it's been absolutely fine without a bungee you get a 500 hertz polling rate and most of these cheap mice are only 125 which is a huge advantage so the performance in game with that in mind has just been great the quality of it all together is actually pretty decent it's pretty robust it's not like the best the scroll wheel is very loose um in terms of it's just very easy to scroll it's like a, a g502 or one of the basilisks where you can unlock the scroll wheel the side buttons are a bit funky in terms of placement and design the sides are just you know it's very glossy um, plastic and it's just very sticky the the rest of the coating is nice the shape is comfortable like this the shape is great it's, it's a great shape for a mouse it really is it sits in my hand really well I have no issues with it the fact that this is so cheap and it performs so well like I just it's, it's baffling the only thing I could suggest is more people buy this so I kind of need validation for my thoughts I feel like I'm crazy because you know as I said when I get these cheap mites I open them up I expect them to be horrible and this mouse isn't so I'm like a bit worried that I'm dreaming or something fishy's going on maybe they've given me a you know I mean I bought this on Amazon maybe somehow they found my location they thought quick let's give them a good one better sensor I'm I'm honestly shocked I'm going to keep this as a spare the fact that I'm considering and I'm actually going to have a dirt cheap gaming mouse as a backup on my desk is insane like for the, the switches on this mouse are fine they perform well so it does pretty much the basics that you can ask for the fact that this is so cheap is just baffling I honestly cannot recommend this enough on the off chance if you see this on Amazon or if you're wanting a very cheap mouse as a backup replacement definitely buy it I, I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't